We can see how much water has actually gotten behind the siding uh, due to this beam being uh, just sort of nailed or fastened right over top of the existing uh, um, siding material. We've got some rot, we've got bugs in here. You can see the rust on all the nails. Uh, a lot of water been getting at this wall. So um, we've got to get this material moved away. Hey, Damon. Oh, man, look at that. That's a little moist. That was in behind the sheeting? Yeah. This ledger plate is really just going to help us keep water off of the house, snow, everything. I'm going to take this board and I'm going to lag it into the house. Lagging, I'm going to take a half-inch bolt, five inches long, and lag it right into structure on the inside of this house so that this isn't going anywhere. This is going to become part of the house, which is part of my structure, which is going to hold up the deck. What we're going to do here is we're going to actually blue skin this. It's a waterproof material that we're going to actually adhere right to this, and then it's going to get flashed. And then we're going to put our outside framing over top of that on top of spacers. You know what? We're actually perfect right there. Just hold the line. So this just means to me somebody is finally thinking. We want water not sitting against the back ledger of our plate and against the house. It'll find its way in if there's any crevices. What we want to do is block it off the house so that we have water drainage off our deck to be able to come down. Now, we used to do that with blocks of wood, but somebody has made an actual product that's a puck-style system that you can still bolt through, but what it does is it holds it off of your house, allowing all the water to just drain right off. Let's get this up, guys. All right, I'm going to work my way down, boys. 